A woman in Sudan who is Muslim by birth married a Christian man, and because of that, she was just sentenced to death on Thursday after she refused to recant her Christianity. Quote, Maryam Ibrahim, whose father was Muslim, was convicted of apostasy on Sunday and given four days to repent and escape death. She's just 26 years old. As of right now, she's refused to do it at this point. Muslim women in Sudan are prohibited from marrying non-Muslims, uh, even though Muslim men are uh, allowed to uh, marry people of a different faith. The women are not allowed to do that. They must follow their father's religion. And the court in the capital of Khartoum also ordered that uh, Ibrahim be given a hundred lashes for committing what's called zina. That's an Arabic word for illegitimate sex. So for having sexual relations with her husband, a Christian, they go, oh, you had sex with the wrong religion, so now we're going to lash you for that. Now, keep in mind, the story gets even worse, man. I mean, I, right, how could it get worse? She has an 18-month-old child that they kept in in the jail cell with her, and she's eight months pregnant. Eight months pregnant. Oh, God, this is so gross. So, look, I mean, what this is, I don't think there's any two ways about it. This is religion, and only religion can provide this. This is religion acting as the height and the apex of immorality as they're posing as being moral. See, to them, they think, well, look, the code says do this. You're not following the code. Well, fuck you. We're going to make you follow the code. We're going to lash you. We're going to put you to death. All because, it, you know, you married a guy who's Christian and you won't say that you're a Muslim. That's the most immoral thing I could think of. You're basically killing somebody because they disagree with you on something. I mean, that infringes on freedom of speech, freedom of thought, freedom of religion, any kind of freedom you could possibly think of. You know, what is it about people that can lead them down this programmed path where they can actually brainwash themselves enough to think, yes, killing is the appropriate punishment because they don't agree with my silly religion. Look, all of you guys believe things that are not true. They're not based on evidence, they're not based on proof, they're based on these dogmatic books that were written by people during primitive times when they didn't even know that the fucking earth was round, okay? But the idea that you could be so married to one of those books that you say it's punishment of death if you say you disagree with me on these things which are patently false. I mean, in all seriousness, that's like leftover medieval time shit. Like, as of right now, the way the Sudan is acting, I mean, that's hand-in-hand hand with, like, you know, medieval times bullshit, and it's the year 2014. Like, can we fucking catch up, please? And then I hate it when the same people, they want to get all the advantages of the Western world and modernity. So, like, they, of course, they want to have an AC in their house. They want to have medical doctors. They want to see what's on TV. They want to use the internet. But whoa, 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 whoa. You want to use the shit that the smart people in the West came up with, right? You want to use the shit that all the scientists and the technological experts came up with, right? The actual empirical thinkers who problem solve. But at the same time, you want to use that. You're saying, but let me cling to my old school, primitive, desert, uh, garbage belief system. No, no, no. Pick one or the other. One or the other. Either you get the AC and you can get the TV and the internet. Um, or you can get to kill somebody when they don't agree with your religion. It's one or the other, you know? God, it drives me so crazy because, again, you're killing somebody for nothing. Like, and killing somebody is never okay. Like, I'm always against killing people, obviously. It's murder. Civilians never kill civilians, obviously. But when you do it for a reason like this, that's even worse. Because it's like you're trying to rationalize it to yourself and... Again, you're saying we are the most moral when you act as immoral as anybody could ever act. Now look, I don't know any other way to describe this, but it's basically like we did stories where the Taliban killed people because they dared to dance at a wedding and they weren't married. 
if it wasn't so tragic, it'd be like a bad comedy skit, you know? Like, these are people, they're... They're just held back because they're, they have these cultural chains that they can't break free from. Like, all it would take, all it would take is to be brave enough to think. Be brave enough to say to yourself, well, let's see here, let me, let's, let's, you know, let's rattle this around our heads a little bit. We are one culture. There are thousands of cultures in the world. There are thousands of religions in the world. There are billions of people in the world. Not all of them believe the same thing. Not all of them have the same practices on a daily basis. So maybe, just maybe, my one culture and my one religion isn't 100% correct. Maybe we can be humble enough to say we don't have all the fucking answers. Okay? And the second you're able to be that objective and to think about things through that spectrum, through that lens, then you're going to start acting a lot more moral. But when you convince yourself that your culture has it exactly right, your religion has it exactly right, only the, the most heinous things can come from that. It's been like that throughout history. When somebody is so convinced that they're right by definition, they act so wrongly. That's what the Inquisition is, that's what the Crusades is, that's what Jihad is, and that's what these guys are doing right here. It's time to shed the dogma and shed the nonsense and, and just embrace reason, rationality, empiricism, thinking and being a, an empathetic human being who actually abides by the idea that, look, uh, if I wouldn't want it done to me, I'm not going to do it to anybody else.